What's up YouTube? I just got a package in on something I've been I've been wanting to purchase for a while and today we're gonna put it together, install it, and I'm gonna give you a little review. Stay tuned. All right, so what we have here is the PLM engine stand or engine cradle, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've been wanting to buy these, one of these for a while. I've been looking at one of, a couple of the other brands. Uh, I'm not too keen on spending three, four hundred dollars on something that's just going to sit in the garage. So at one hundred and thirty bucks, I think it was or one hundred and forty bucks, I decided I'd rather take a chance on this one. And we're gonna be putting it, we're putting this guy on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and we'll get started. All right, so going by photos and actually what I realized is the holes that are in each leg actually line up. They're all different heights, so you can't mix the legs up, which is pretty smart. Um, I do have six bolts left, but I'm pretty sure two, at least four of them are for mounting the engine and transmission and i don't know what the other two are for the the nuts for the wheels i found in the box i don't know earlier in the video i kind of oops sorry i couldn't i didn't know where they were they must have fallen out of the wheel bag but as of right now it's all together so what i'm gonna do is actually take the legs back off and try and fit them onto each individual hole on the actual engine. So I'm gonna move the engine out into the open and then I'm gonna try the legs out. So what I'm gonna do is remove my poor attempt at making uh, one of these legs and try and fit these four legs onto their respective spaces, which I do believe one goes here, one goes here, here or here one of these two the rear one goes in this spot i believe and then the other leg goes here for the transmission so i'm going to remove them from the stand and get started with that Okay, so we have three legs in 
and I have a small dilemma. I don't know how I'm gonna get this off of the red stand, but I think I'm gonna try and flip it down and then flip the red stand over so it doesn't fall, it kinda just rolls onto these wheels. So this can either go really good or it can go really bad. So I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and you're gonna see me either triumph or fail. Um, that wasn't safe. Don't try this at home. All right, I'm gonna put you guys back on the tripod because this leg isn't on and I don't wanna put all the weight on just three legs. So be right back. All right, so I got the leg on. As you can see, I can drop this. And we have all four legs on. Engine is on the stand completely. Actually fits pretty well. And I mean, it rolls pretty good. It's, I mean, it's heavy, it's an engine. So it's not gonna it's not gonna roll with the push of a of a pinky finger, but it's on there. So what I'm gonna do is tighten up all of the bolts, um, tighten up the legs to the actual stand, and then we'll get a final look at it. Okay, so we've got everything assembled and tightened. Engine is completely on. Definitely rolls pretty good. Um, this is a smooth garage floor for the most part. So it's not like there's rocks or, you know, a rough surface. Um, it's, it's an engine, it's not light. So you can't expect just to push it and it rolls away. These wheels aren't too bad. Um, this does allow you to bolt on your clutch, your, your flywheel clutch, and then obviously your transmission once everything is all together. Um, I'm happy with it. So, so far so good. Um, honestly, I like this better because when I need room in the garage, I can just roll this out of the way. Before with the engine stand, it was a little more cumbersome. It wouldn't move as easy as this does. And I also have the transmission lying on the ground. So now I can put everything all together and it'll be one swap. And I can just roll the entire swap out of the way. Unlike these, which I can show you that just sits there in one spot. So if I wanna move that, it's almost an act of God. So, um, could this engine stand be any better? 
most definitely. Uh, didn't come with instructions. The, I mean, that's the least, I guess. I figured it out in about five, 10 minutes. Um, I didn't expect it to be like this brown, bronze color. But again, it's, a, it's an engine cradle stand. I'm not concerned with the color. I just needed it to be able to move. Uh, and that's about it. So if you need something to store an engine, transmission B series, I do know they make a K series, engine only, and a K20 with transmission. They don't make a K24 that you can put on the stand with the transmission. So just be aware of that when you do purchase it. Um, B series one works pretty good. The wheels are, are, are bad. It has two locking wheels. This one, which is in the ground. And I'll put them both on one side. So once they get into place, they don't lock. Oh wait, that was locked. Oh, there you go. They don't lock. There you go. These wheels don't lock. So as you can see, that makes it real easy to roll. And then when I put this on, put the brake to the on, it's difficult. Yeah, it just gets difficult, but they still do move. As you can see, it's just not as easy. So the wheels could be better. But other than that, it's great for storage. I would, like I said, I wouldn't spend three or $400 on the other ones just because it's gonna sit here and it's just gonna be a stand. So overall, a good product. Uh, it fit. Didn't have to cut or grind anything like I saw in pre some other videos on YouTube. It was pretty much plug and play. Everything went in properly. Nothing stripped out. And as you can see, it's holding the weight. Um, that's about it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe to, our, to my channel. Um, there's definitely going to be more on this engine and many other things. So, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.